Hey YouTubers, Muskrat Jim here. And tonight, I'm going to sleep in a hammock for the first time. Now I'm not very far from home, and just last night there was a bear in my neighbor's garbage. And he lives about, I don't know, four, 400 yards from here maybe? 500 yards? So, I'll be sleeping with the bears tonight. So let's go set up that hammock. Now the Hennessy hammocks have these elasticized tie-outs and all you have to do is just clip them to this ring. And there's one on each side. Now I'll be testing this new sleeping bag that I just received from lighttake.com. It's a cool weather hooded sleeping bag. It's um, two and a half pounds or a, a one kilo bag. And um, the temperatures aren't really supposed to get that cool this evening. Probably down to about 14 degrees Celsius. So that's somewhere around 60 I believe. Fahrenheit. So, anyway, I'll be plenty warm, I'm sure. So there's the hooded sleeping bag in the hammock. Now what I'm going to do for mosquito repellent tonight is I'm going to try this Bugables mosquito repellent band. It's deep free. It's supposed to wear it around your wrist. But I think what I'll do is I'll wear it closer to my neck. 
because mosquitoes have a tendency to go for my head more than anything else. Now, once you open this, it's apparently good for up to seven days. And uh, it comes in its own little Ziploc bag, so once you open it, you can use it for like a day, put it back in the Ziploc bag, and it's good for six more days later on. So we're gonna open her up and see how it does. Mosquitoes are getting kind of bad because the sun is going down. It's about uh, seven o'clock right now. Well, actually, hit it. It's 7.30. So there it is. So it is stretchable, like you'd wear it on your wrist or something. And I'm gonna keep the Ziploc bag so I can put it back in later. Now, because bears were sighted just a short distance from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all of my food up in a tree. I uh, brought another bag. So this is going to go up in the tree overnight. Just so then there's no reason for the bear to visit my campsite. So let's go hang it up. So we're going to go walk in this direction. Probably about 50 yards or so, and find a suitable tree. Okay, there's a birch up there, sort of like half dead. Um, it's not quite a deadfall. But I think what I can do is throw a rope over that and then hoist my bag up there. Now, it's supposed to be 20 feet off the ground and about 10 feet out from the trunk and hanging 10 feet down from the limb. Anyway, I just couldn't, with all the, um, with all the foliage around, I just couldn't throw that uh, carabiner, that heavy carabiner over that limb where I wanted to. So, this is uh, gonna have to do. It's, um, it's about 20, well, maybe 15 feet off the ground and it's basically touching the uh, the trunk of a dead tree so um, you know if a bear tried to climb it he'd probably knock the tree over but anyway there's uh, not a heck of a lot of food in there just uh, oatmeal for the morning um, you know stuff like that uh, coffee so uh, it won't be that much of a loss if it if it disappears overnight but um, anyway, that'll have to do. So let's get back to camp.
Okay, so I think what I'll do is I'll uh, unpack a bit, get comfortable, and uh, make some herbal tea, some something with chamomile in it, just to, you know, relax me for the evening. And then I'll probably call it a day. So uh, we'll catch you in a few minutes. Okay, so I'm just going to drink this chamomile tea and call it a night. It's kind of dark to try to record now, so uh, as early as it is, it's been a day. So uh, catch you guys in the morning. This is Muskrat Jim saying good night. Well, it's 5.30 in the morning, and the sun is just coming up. At 11 o'clock last night, after I finally went to bed, it was 72 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 22 Celsius. It was really quite warm, so I decided I'd sleep without my t-shirt. And so I laid in the sleeping bag, the sleeping bag was open, and um, just relaxed. 
and I fell asleep and about three o'clock I was feeling a little chilly so I put my t-shirt on and the temperature right now is 61 Fahrenheit which is about 16 degrees but the temperature did fall to 14 degrees Fahrenheit which is like just under 60 so so I was quite happy that this was a, a hooded sleeping bag so I drew the hood up tightened it around my head a bit and uh, slept pretty comfortably for the night now it, it still was a little cool um, it would have been good to have had an under pad I think under the sleeping bag but other than that I survived the night no bears or anything the only um, wild animal that I did hear was the unmistakable barking of a fox but that was really quite a distance away from where I was or where I am rather well I think what I'm going to do is get up and get dressed go get my bag that I put up in the tree there last night and make some breakfast and some coffee so uh, let's go and take care of some business I was just about to say that it's supposed to rain at about 7 o'clock this morning. But if you listen, you can hear the rain coming now. It's a little bit early. Well, let's make some coffee. Well, on the menu this morning is cream of wheat with brown sugar and a cup of coffee. Mosquitoes are pretty bad this morning. Well, to be honest, they were bad all night, but the um, the hammock really protected me quite a bit.
bowl of warm cereal on a cool morning. Well, I really shouldn't say it's a cool morning, but it's not a warm morning. Now, if the rain stops and uh, the sun comes out later this afternoon, it'll probably be closer to uh, the mid, mid to low 20s, which is about um, 70 Fahrenheit. And that's normal for this time of year, which is the, the 1st of July. So being the 1st of July, this is Canada Day here in Canada, so I'd like to wish all my Canadian friends Happy Canada Day, and in a couple of days it'll be the 4th of July, Independence Day down in the States, so I'd like to wish all my American friends Happy Independence Day. Mosquitoes are pretty bad. Cheers. Oh yeah, that's good. Well, I'm going to finish my breakfast, pack up my gear, see if uh, the rain's gonna let up a little bit, then uh, take down my tarp and head on back. So until next time, this is Muskrat Jim, signing out. For more muskrat survival videos, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe.